All right, well, today we're going to see how we can go ahead and use this API client, i.e. Postman, to connect to our ESA and then generate the Python code using this same API client, i.e. Postman. Now, for those of you who know Postman, that's good. For those of you who don't, let me tell you, Postman is an API client that is used by developers to create, share, test, and document APIs. There are tons of options available in Postman, but today we're gonna we're not gonna touch all of that. I'm just gonna talk about the, the script part, how to generate the code and all of that. And so in, in simple terms, if I was to tell you, uh, it is an API platform for building and using APIs. Now, if you quickly wanna go ahead and connect to your appliance, this would be the easiest way I would say. All right, so let's go ahead and try to connect to our ESA. For that, again, we need the URL. I have already tried it, so I'm just going to fetch the URL from there. So here it is. I can just go ahead and copy it, and you just need to click on this plus once you are inside a workspace. So workspaces can be taken, uh, uh, can be created here. So here you have this option of create workspace, right? As you can see. So just click on that, create the workspace. Here I have this workspace called ESA, right? As soon as you're here, you can click on this plus button and you know get a new uh, request generated. Here you put the URL, which I already have, and under the authorization tab, you just need to go ahead and select basic authentication because that's what we use with the ESA. Here I put my username and the password, and that's pretty much it. I can go ahead and click on send, as soon as I click that, it provides me the results right here at the bottom, all right, in different views. So raw data like this, pretty data like that, preview and raw. We got something for preview as well. Well, it looks almost the same. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, I got the results back, right? Now, I don't want to use Postman every time. I want to you know, I'll go ahead and uh, generate a Python script for it. And well, Postman helps me out with that as well. Here on this side, right here, you see this uh, less than and then forward slash and then greater than, right? So this is for the code generation. Okay, so I just go ahead and click on that as it says code, right? There you go. That's the Python code for whatever I ran right now. I just go ahead and copy that and put it in a Python, you know, uh, I create a file uh, with the .py extension and I go ahead and run it. It's gonna give me the exact same results and you can then go ahead and use Python to manipulate or do other, th uh, other stuff with the script and uh, basically get the desired output if you don't want it like that or whatever. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up for this video today. And um, uh, let's see how it goes um, if I, if I, if you have any any further you know things you want to check with Postman, uh, kindly do let me know. But I'm I'm not I'm fairly uh, sure that I'm not going to touch more more on Postman. Well, maybe sometimes. Well, thank you so much for your time. You have a great day. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Goodbye.